I I've been running the uh, Zamberlin urine urine yarin? yarin. Pretty sure it's not urine. It's Y E R E N <laughs> urine yarin. I don't it's know. It's probably like a silent Y. Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what I've been running. I've been liking them. They're uh, they're a little bit like a, a mix between a really light hiker and a heavier duty hiker. The sole and the the structure of the footbed is pretty heavy duty, pretty strong. Where everything else is pretty light. So I've been really really liking it. But today. I am going to start breaking in these bad boys so they're ready to go for the hunting season also, late the late season. Idea. And these are the, um, oh crap. <laughs> these are the Leopard GTX, the lower, the, the lower um, size. There's three different heights in this boot. There's a high, a mid, and a low. Um, this is the low. It has the least amount of insulation possible for this boot, which I like even no matter what time of the year. I, I have really hot feet that sweat all the time. My feet sweat in flip-flops. So that's what I'm going to start breaking in today. I don't know how long I'm going to wear them today. I'll probably end up switching and going back to the urns. Er, er. So. I can't ever remember the names. I'm going to just start renaming them my yeah. own names. So we're going to get them put on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Josh just said, have you seen his video of one of those uh, packing off a tarantula? Which, it's a pretty uh, cool one. Do you have it? Is it like in a shed hunting video? You should actually cut it down. It's by itself. Oh, it is by itself? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, if it's not, you should cut it down because it's pretty freaking cool. Link it in this video so they can see it. Anyways, you know what the best part about Those shed hunting? Those are scary. In the heat? What? The best part about shed hunting in the heat? <gasps> Bikini top! Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, that's a secret weapon I have right now. And I like it, and I'm lucky. I haven't been able to go like tanning and stuff. Usually I'm much more tan than I am now. Why am I not as tan as I usually am? I would much rather shed hunt. See, that's that's like right there is proof of reason number one hundred and like sixty-seven thousand of why to shed hunt with the opposite sex. Cause they can wear bikini tops. Yeah, dude, I don't want to be shed hunting with some stinky ass dudes when I could be shed hunting with somebody like you. True that. Me too. Whoever thought of bros before hoes is that definitely swinging the other way. <laughs> they don't. They're swinging. Which is cool. You, I mean, you yeah, want to, you, you want to yeah. go for dudes, go for dudes. But that's that's not a straight man saying, by the way. <laughs> bros before bros hoes. before hoes. I know a few of your friends that. Uh, I do too. Follow and that. I, and those same friends, I question their sexuality. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave that out of our video, I think. Nah, because I'm not down. I'm just saying it how it is. You know about um, don't fight it. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're not, you're not. Summer oh, well. shed hunting. Do what you want to do. Is the bugs? They're so annoying. Okay. Yeah, the cedar gnats. Really dragging this out. All right, I gotta get. I gotta get busy. I gotta quit videoing. All right, guys. guys. I'm saying what's up today. <laughs> All right, she's going. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we're heading out. It is our anniversary day. Today is our anniversary. How many years together, babe? 18, well, we've been married for 18, but we've been together for 21. There you go, 21 years together. It's a long time. It You're is. 17 years old, do the yep. math. Yep, <laughs> we're, not, we're not close to 40 yet, so. <laughs> no, we still got a little ways. Let's All hit right. it. So today, for our anniversary, we are shed hunting. It's, we're hoping it's not gonna be too hot, but if it is, then we're going to turn into scouting yeah. <laughs> and we'll just get in the air, air conditioner and drive around and, and look at country. So, but we're going to shed hunt as long as we can before it gets hot and hopefully, hopefully pick up a big set off a buck so hard. that I'm looking for. Yeah, let's go. Oh, here we go. All right, see, we are getting started. Got bugs all over me. 
on our anniversary day hike and it is already really warm. We're prepared for it. Got lots of frozen bottles of water. You have to come out here prepared and aware because there are people that die out here every year like tourists and stuff that don't really realize what they're getting into and how harsh the strip is. So we're prepared. Gotta watch for rattlesnakes. There's lizards everywhere. Gotta watch for rattlesnakes over here. So not too much camera time so I can watch the ground. I usually like to have my uh, walking stick because I hit the ground with it, put out some vibration, hopefully, I don't know if that is even a thing, but that's <laughs> my way of uh, thinking about it. So I usually have a walking stick to hit the ground with, but I forgot it, so my eyes are peeled for a natural walking stick that I can take. So far, no luck. But we're shed hunting. I'm super, super happy about that. So, here we go. What is up, guys? It is a hot beast out here. I'm uh, starting to feel it. And the bugs are being a total pain in the ass. Like zoom around your head and they totally think they mess with you. So I'm taking a little break in the shade. All of this stuff looks really good. I'm in some buck brush. I got deer sign. So hopefully we can turn something up because hiking in this kind of crap, uh, you got to find stuff for this to be fun. <laughs> Otherwise it's pretty much torture. But I am glad to be out here. Regardless, I am happy to be out here. So. Just taking a little chill for a sec. I even rolled my pants up. I need some shorts. See, I have this little whapper that's helping with that. Mm. Cute, huh? Yeah. All right, we'll get back on the road. They don't bother you as much if you're moving. Oh my gosh. These bugs are bugging the ever-living crap out of me. I taking a quick uh, snack break and uh, cooling down a little bit. Um, I don't know if there's a way that you can look at the weather and not have phone service, but if you know, tell me what app that is. Because it won't find it on like the iPhone weather app that's like automatically on your phone. And of course it won't pull up the weather channel app that I have. I don't know if there's anything else that would work without service. So, I don't know how hot it is, but it is blistering hot. It's, it's got to be. When we left the truck, I think it said like 73 or 4, which is not bad. But that was early, early morning, like at 8 o'clock. So, I don't know what time it is now. I should have looked. Let me see what I brought for my snacks today. I brought... Some dried mangoes. These are so stinking good. I love those. I got some goldfish. And these are not the goldfish that had the ants in them. FYI. And then uh, some cheese. These are good um, when you're kind of feeling like low on energy and protein. I like the cheese. And a go-go squeeze. These are awesome. I don't know why they didn't invent these sooner. It's not that hard of a deal. Just put a lid on it and squeeze it. It's 92 degrees. Holy crap. Uh, is your phone broke? Um, I'm sitting in my bikini top and underwear. Like, that's how freaking hot I am. I was getting goosebumps. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I have been 
there, done that, and that sucks hard. It got so hot. It's pouring bottled water down my back. Ugh. Now I gotta come back down from that. Good thing that the Ford has such awesome air conditioning. Josh wanted to bring our old Ford. That window's down, by the way. Um, which has no air conditioning. Uh, yeah, I probably would have died. <laughs> I don't know, man. The heat gets me. The older I get, I feel like. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I'm done with the heat. Heat sucks. It's the worst. I never really, I never really thought so negatively about the heat. I do enjoy your until <laughs> until like maybe the last year or two, the heat didn't really bother me, and it was a big reason why I didn't want to move to Idaho because I was not into the winter. But gosh, I feel like I'm starting to become uh, more of a winter girl. I'd much rather hike in freaking snow than 92 degrees. I actually didn't know for sure that it would get up that high out here, but it sure did. And we've seen higher temperatures than that out here in different places. We've seen it as high as 118 out here. So you do not come out here ill prepared. You make sure that you have lots and lots and lots of water and that you don't go farther than your body is capable. So that, and that's exactly what just happened. Josh probably could have just kept on going, but I was like, I gotta start heading back to the truck. It's three, we've been going since about eight. That's a pretty good day, I would say. I don't feel like I've, uh, that I slacked at all. Got a nice sunburn, shed hunter sunburn. <laughs> so we're gonna go, uh, I guess just driving around. All right, so I just had this uh, question go through my head because we're talking about um, moving and like what that would mean for like our shed hunting and stuff because I, I started, well, you did too. We, this is where it all originated. This is what we know. So we're talking about moving to Idaho and I was wondering if any of you have moved from a place like make it made a big move like from state to state um, and left your shed hunting behind and did you like it more did you quit the hobby because um, I'm kind of worried that I might not like it out of here and I have no idea how I could not not like it but it's just one of those weird things in the back of my head you know because I love it so much I don't want to not like it does that make sense like, what if I don't like Idaho's terrain? And I'm like, yeah, this sucks. I can only, I can only go out three months a year. Like so, those but types of we things. We can still travel to different areas. Are they as big? Different states. I mean, we travel, we travel like five hours to go shed hunting on a regular. Yeah. You know? It's just that the strip is its own. Right, and thing. it is a strip, but so that's what I guess I'm kind of hesitant There's about leaving. There's other things leaving. to do, though. Yeah. I mean, and, and I'm not—I didn't start just shed hunting. Not it's like, like a you know. mom after she, when she has her first kid. She's like, "Oh, I love this kid so much. How could I ever love another kid the same?" Well, I just answered my own question <laughs> because <laughs> uh, it just happens. Your heart just spreads.
just sitting here glassing and uh, looking for deer and sheds. Yes. And I'm sitting here and I look across the front of the truck here. And right there in the center, you see it? I'll try to sit, I'll try to make this steady. Our music sounds really weird. <laughs> right there. Alright, we're gonna run over real quick and uh, grab that shed just on your side over there. By those trees. Alright, we're getting over to it now. Should be good. Right up, oh, I see it. Um, that's a good antler. <clears throat> that's a typical. Exactly who I thought it was. Huh. I'm gonna have to walk around, find the other side. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take some pictures really quick. Okay, okay. All right, let's put this in. And an older year off him, I think. Good base, good thick base on it. Not a bad horn. Not a bad horn for glass down from the road either. So we I think I'm gonna walk around in these trees really quick for a minute. It's just a little patch. The other side's laying in here. Here we come back. What did you find? Bam! Nice. Big old base. That's a we big have the shed. Other side. We already have it? Yeah. Heck yeah! It dawned on me while I was picking it. I was looking for the match. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get some good footage of it. We're way far out here on the strip. And we can still see the Pine Valley fire. So good. It had to have gotten with it hardcore today. And if it was windy, uh, that sucks. Our little town is going to be nothing but like smog and smoke. 